Still on the fence about Enter the Gungeon? Don't worry, I got you covered. Enter the Gungeon is a roguelike dungeon crawling, twin stick shooting. All right, all right, you get it. This game is a fusion of tons of genres that seem to mesh well into a chaotic mosh pit of randomly generated insanity. The gameplay will have you focusing on dispatching enemies as quick as you can, while running around in a small room clearing the map to find the best loot while trying not to get shot. Luckily for you, there's two methods that will aid you into the not getting bullets into your skull bit. There's a rolling mechanic that gives you partial invincibility, allowing you to pass through bullets, and the blank item. This item will allow you to destroy any bullets on screen and will not let the shooter shoot any more bullets for a couple seconds. There are five levels to crawl through. Each one is randomly generated, each one with a set of bosses that's also randomly generated. And it'll just choose them at random for you to battle. And if that all seems a lot to deal with, don't worry, there's hundreds of unique weapons and items that will aid you through the gungeon. Some items you'll find in chests, others you'll find in the shop, which are available on every floor. The bosses also drop guns and other items to aid your arsenal. In addition to finding weapons, you can also find NPCs, which means non-playable characters, that will aid you in the good fight of shooting things in the face. Some will offer you challenges, some can heal you, others I still find a mystery. Some will even show up in the main game central hub. And while the game is really fun, there are some drawbacks of course. If you're not familiar with these kind of games, the biggest one is that if you die, you can't restart. You're dead, that's it. That means all the loot you collected, all the minions you blasted to pieces, all the hard work gone down the tube. Unfortunately, this is a make or break for a lot of people. Somebody like myself who's up to the challenge of starting fresh every time they die, collecting new loot, while there's others that can't fathom the whys of the penalty of dying. When you restart, the map again is randomly generated and nothing will be in the same spot. So then the question becomes, are you a bad enough dude to enter the gungeon and make it out alive, or you fall into a pit of peril and perish to the pixels of pure evil? <laughs> Damn, that was not cool. 